Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if, being the thumb, what if, the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here, this is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros, so this is going to be an intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Gang, gang, we on it. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're doing What If Deku was Sasuke's Reincarnation Part 3, obviously, let's get into the What If. Now, we left last left off on the first day of the, of the, um, of the UA. So, we will be picking up in the hero versus, um, villains thing. Now, a couple days after the first day, um, Deku and his classmates would have gone throughout the school day, going to very different many classes. English with President Mike and other classes. I, I don't know why, for some reason, I want to say anatomy with midnight, but that, I, <laughs> uh, this is funny. But that's beside the point. Now, Naruto, I mean, not Naruto, now Deku would have, um, Um, let me see. And Deku would have been going. Um, his entire class would actually would have been going to their final class. And once arriving back to homeroom, this is then when they would hear a voice says, "I am here, walking through the door like a normal person." As this is when All Might shows up, shocking everyone. As everyone begins to think, "What's All Might doing here?" I mean, majority of them, besides, I wanna say just Izuku, um. Well, uh, you say they know all know All Might is here. They just didn't think that he would be teaching them. So due to this, they would be very shocked of his appearance. Now, uh, All Might would then tell the class that today they're going to be doing hero training. That he's going to be taking care of their hero training and things like that, and they're going to be doing something special. As he was then say, but now. I'm gonna change this line a little bit. He says, "Now it's time to see how good you little zygotes look in your um, hero costumes. After all, the clothes make the pro." As he then presses a button towards the wall, as it then begins to open. Now everyone will go to put their hero costume on. It's so with Deku. And when everyone walk out, they they will look at everyone's costumes as they all hear footsteps coming. As they then see Deku's costume. Deku's basically wearing what adult Sasuke wears. He's wearing black pants with black sandals with an open in the front. That's open showing his toes. Or um, black sh uh, yeah, sandals with open that shows his toes. He's, um, he has a sword on um, under his cloak, which he's wearing a black cloak with the purple inside. A shirt, a button-up shirt. I believe this was uh, but a vest, a purple, a light, very light purple vest, and a black, a gray shirt underneath. Or is it a gray vest with a darker shirt underneath? But that's beside the point. <clears throat> now, Deku, or the I walked out. Does everyone then ask Deku why isn't his costume, you know, more extravagant? As Deku then says, his costume is actually something he made himself. It's really just most. It's just most. Well, it's actually something that he has himself. He gave to the school for a hero costume. He says it's mostly everything here um, is basically just normal clothes, except for the sword, because I'm a swordsman and my my quirk requires me to use a sword also. So, Naruto, <clears throat> so I'm not Naruto. So Deku. Um, we'll continue on as all my would then say, all right, class, it's time to, um, do the, um, it's time to learn about what you're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be doing a heroes versus vi villains tra um, train, um, what is it? We're going to train, we're going to do something to train, a heroes versus villain exam or test like thing. There will be two teams, 
made up. It will be teams of made up of two people. All of you guys will draw a will draw a letter. And after which, once you once your teams pick a letter, then whatever color, if your color is black, if the letter color is or if the ball is black, then you are a villain team, and if your color is white, then you are a hero team. As everyone begins to do this, as most teams stay much like canon, except for this time it's going to be Deku and Todoroki versus Bakugo and Ida. And Todoroki will say, Midoriya, I don't, I got this. As Deku would then say, no, I can get to it even better. What are you, what is, what was your plan in the first place, Todoroki? He says to match reach the building. As Deku says, you never know what could happen with this bomb. As Deku would then say, well, as Todoroki would then say, then what's your idea? As Deku, as Deku then holds up a single hand as he makes a, as his two fingers are pointing up. As this is then when two Deku, but two Deku's would appear beside Todoroki. As Deku says, clones. As one of the clones then begins to transform into Deku, no, oh, into Todoroki. As the clones, um, then begin to get ready. As um, Deku then tells Todoroki, when the match starts, to create an ice stairs that go around the building. I'll put again. I'll put an illusion over us that doesn't allow anyone to see us. As Todoroki then asks, "How is he doing that?" As as Deku's I, as Todoroki then sees Deku's eyes is now turned red, but well, one of them, the one that he can see, is now red with three commas in them. As Deku would then place an illusion over them, making them invisible. Now, Online would then tell them to start as Todoroki would then begin to make the ice stairs or ice pillars for them to walk on. As Deku then says, "Good job, Todoroki. Now all we have to do is find out what building, what, what floor they're in." As um. This is when Deku would then get one of his clones informations. Bakugo had just popped his clones within the big explosion. As Bakugo then tries to attack the Todoroki clone, only for the Todoroki clone to jump back before doing hand signs. Something that Bakugo sees Zuku do, but he thinks that Todoroki might do the same thing as Deku. As Todoroki, as he then sees the Todoroki that he thinks is Todoroki, shoot out a a ball of flames, a fireball. As see here's Todoroki yell uh, out fire style, fireball jutsu. As Deku, I mean, as Bakugo hearing this for wonder, that's the name of Deku's quirk. What is as this is then when Deku's uh, tr the clone transformation with them, um, within dissolve, showing that it's actually Deku. As Deku then says, Sorry, Bakugo, but you have to be taken care of. As he then, as Bakugo then is about to hit Deku's clone, only for him to look into Deku's eye, which is now, um, uh, which is now red with commas in them, or Tomo. I call them commas because this is what everyone's gonna think them they are until Deku then tells them that they're Tomoe, or two Tomoe Sharingan, or two to or Tomoe, Tomoe. I don't think I'm saying the word right, but I know I'm T O M E O. T -O -M -E -O. Tomoe, and I'm still Tomo. He doesn't say Tomos. Two Tomos in his eyes, or three Tomos, which is what he has. He, I don't think I said he has unlocked the monkey kill because it's oh, he did unlock it. That's right, I did that. I probably did have him unlock it, but that's beside the point. Now, Deku, Makoko would then be frozen in place as stakes are legit placed inside of him. And Bakugo is in an illusion, the same paralysis illusion that. Deku had, I believe, I had Deku use against the slime villain in the same, and this is what in the same one Itachi put um, Orochimaru under. As Naruto, anyways, now Naruto. With a basic, uh, not Naruto. Deku, I'm listening to a Naruto fan picture right now. Anyways, 
Deku would have um then have put the clone would have then put a capture tape over Bakugo. As this is then when Ida would come down as Bakugo didn't respond to him. As he didn't hear All Might call him, but he also doesn't hear any fighting. So Ida had rushed down to see what was what was happening. And when he he then um finally catches up to Bakugo only to see him standing there as Deku puts the capture tape on him. As Ida and see this, he see he then hears All Might say, "Villain Bakugokoski has been captured." As the only thing that can really see them are, ca are cameras because it's an illusion placed on them by the, which only the people can't see. So, um, All Might and his class and their classmates can obviously see Todoroki and Deku going around the building. As Todoroki and Deku would finally make it to the final floor, which is actually where the bomb is going to be. So they would break the window. Now, Ida hearing this would then be the answer us to the rumors. Deku would then tell uh, Todoroki to hurry up and freeze that wall now. As Todoroki would do so, running up to the wall and freezing it. As Deku would then touch the bomb. Before then, um, placing, well, would actually place something on the, um, place something on the ground. A scroll. As Deku unravels it, as Deku then touches the bomb and then says, and touches the scroll and then says, "Sealing, seal, um, seal." As the um, bomb is then placed inside of the seal that is on the scroll, as All Might, this is um, hero team wins. As he was a little bit interested about, he was literally wondering what Deku was doing, so he didn't call it when Deku first touched the bomb. Now, either hearing this would be a little saddened. And when they would all return back to the cl um to the uh, rest of the students, All Might would then ask who is the MVP of this event. As everyone would then point at Midoriya, as they all said Midoriya came up with a pretty good plan. We don't know how, but he put an illusion over them, and he also made clones that fought Bakugo. And one of the clones looked like Todoroki, while the rest of, while they um made, while Todoroki made ice stairs outside and went around the building, looking through every window that they could, which every room has. So until they found the bomb, and then used the new, um, did something to Bakugo that made him freeze and captured him. And when they made it to the room, he had Todoroki freeze the wall, and then whatever he did to make the bomb disappear. To which everyone then asked Deku, "What exactly did he do?" As Deku would then unravel, the, uh, would then grab the scroll, as he would then throw it out, as the bomb then appears. As Deku says, "I sealed it away inside of the scroll." As all I would say, all right, young Midori, good job. Pretty impressive. As all my begins to think, you're so cool, young Midoriya. <clears throat> as Deku, um, and Togaroki, uh, Togaroki then says, Deku, Midoriya. As Deku then says, yes, she says, thank you for, um, thank you. You're right. If I would have just rose the entire building, I could have compromised the bomb rather than uh, done anything useful. As Deku says, it's alright. Just think about a way to use your quirk next time. As the rest of the students will go and fight, and we're going to skip past all of them. And then this is where we're going to move on to the USJ event. Now, I wanted to make sure I got to USJ at the start of the um, UA Sports Festival in this part to make sure I get caught up a lot faster because, again, I do end my weddings in Season 4 of My Hero Academia, or I believe it was this Season 5? No, Season 4 being after Deku had just defeated Overhaul. So, And I might go into two heroes, I'm not sure. It, it depends, really. So, Deku and uh, Turtle... Um, from that day on, Deku and Todoroki would actually form a bond. And Deku would have eventually went and told Todoroki about how his father had one day shown up and killed his mother. Trying to t and, and told his mother that um, he was here to take Deku's quirk of sorts. As um, Todoroki says, what does it mean to take his quirk? As Deku says, he doesn't know. As Deku and... Um, Deku, and like I said, from that day on, Deku and Todoroki would but not a bond, but more of a friendship. As this is where we're gonna move on to the USJ event. Now, Deku, um, everyone will go to class as Aizawa then walks in. 
as you said, Solo Clash. I believe this is the day after the um training, the Heroes vs. Villain thing. So, he was just, hello, class. <clears throat> I went over your test scores and um, how well you did during the ex um, then your test with All Might, or your, um, your training with All Might. Midoriya, good plan. Bakugo, control your temper. Next time, you never head straight into battle without a plan. As he would then say, alright, class. Now, I'm going to be handing out some forms. These are field trip forms to the U.S. As everyone begins to think that it's the Universal Studios of Japan. As all, as as all of them come, come, in, not come immediately, immediately um, tell them no, that's the um, unforeseen uh, this USJ unforeseen simulation um, unforeseen Simulation joint, I believe. Let me see. Yes, it's the unforeseen simulation joint. As no one would, you know, be a little bit down to do that. You know, they all thought they they were going to, you know, go and um go. They were going to go to um Universe Studios, but obviously not. So, um, as I would then say, have your parents sign these by tomorrow. As the entire class will leave for the rest of the day. Before then, um, before going, coming back the next day for school and Digo on their field trip. Now, everybody would obviously have their permission slips lined, signed, and um, would all put on their hero costumes to prepare for the um, for their field trip. As upon arriving, now I'm not going to go over the whole press thing. I should, but um, I believe. Um, I believe that um, some of the he villains would have been caught. Like there probably would have been two villains that would have actually been caught. Uh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. I'm just not gonna go over the um, thing because it really does stay much more like canon. So either all the things really do is happen the same. Now, um, how do I don't want it. Yeah, everybody would go get ready for their tr uh, get on the bus and head down to the USJ. And upon arriving, they would then be met by the pro hero 13. As he, 13 would then begin to the, um, introduce herself or him. Is, protein, is 13, I was say protein. Is 13 a girl? I believe 13 is a girl. And she would then begin to tell them about how their quirks can be useful, but could be very dangerous. If the, and It can be very useful, depends on how they use it, but also depends. If they use it the wrong way, it can be very dangerous and could kill someone. And she says that this is what this place is for, to train them to have a better control of the quirk and to use it in better situations. As they all walk in and she begins to talk to them even more until one student then says, Oh, oh cool, you even guys even got um, fake villains. As I would then tell the class to get behind them, that this is, these are real villains. They then see three people come from a purple mist. A, um, a man with hands are all on his face. A giant bird man with his brain exposed and a mist person that's purple, which they think the mist came from. As this is when the purple mist guy would then appear in front of everyone. As Aizawa tries to cancel his quirk, but um, would cancel his quirk, but um, but it would be too late. As Kurigiri would have warped everyone away, including Ida, which means that no one is going to be um, getting out to get the other pro heroes. As everyone um, is walked away, per 13 is stuck there fighting um, fighting um, the Purple Mist guy, which we all know as Kuragiri. As 13 fighting him, uh, would begin to lose and would actually have her suit damaged highly. Now, with no one saving there, 13 was set. With no one, well, we're going to say she'll last, but it won't be for long. Now, everyone would be warped to a different spot, but Deku would land on the land with Aizawa, actually. As Deku was the closest to Aizawa, so him and Aizawa would warp to the same place, being the middle ground right in front of Shigaraki and Nomu. And Shigaraki would say, ah, hmm, a pro hero. I wonder which one is you. Ah, it doesn't matter. Where's All Might? I came here to kill him. As Shigaraki says, All Might is currently not here. As uh, Shigaraki says, well then, I guess we'll have to kill a couple of his students, and then maybe he'll show up. As 
Kuri, oh, I'm not Kurogiri. The man with the hands on his name would then say, Nobu, attack. As the Nobu would then begin to attack Aizawa, only for his hand to be cut off by something. As they all then look to the side, only to see Deku cuts, has cut the Nobu's hand off. And Deku's hand is literally electrified. As they then begin to hear chirping birds from what they get sound like over a thousand chirping birds. As Deku has not yet shown the Chidori, like, in his full power, I don't believe I had him show it. Which I will be saving that for some, for the, some something else for him to make its debut later on, but, yeah. Deku would then say, don't touch my sensei. As Deku would then add chakra to his legs before then kicking the Nomu away from um, Aizawa. As Shigaraki would then try to split this Deku. Only for Deku to dodge Shigaraki. As Deku then delivers a, um, a um, actually delivers a strike with the, um, what is the, I believe the handle of his sword to the back of Shigaraki's head. How does Shigaraki fall to the ground, unconscious? As Deku would then say, hmm. As this is then when the Nomu would then begin to run towards Deku, as it's about to hit Deku. As Deku then replaces, as when it lands a hit, Aizawa then see as Deku then explodes. As the Nomu didn't even put that much power behind it. As Aizawa said, No, Midoriya! As Aizawa would then begin to think, Damn it. He's dead. As this is when, this is then when um, Deku would then say, I can't believe you thought I would die that easily, Sensei. This thing could never hope to kill me. As Deku would then say, um, Fire style. Phoenix fire, Phoenix, Phoenix flower jutsu. As he then begins to spew out multiple fireballs, as he then says, Scarlet Claw. As he then throws Shuriken into the fireballs. As they all then pin themselves into the Nomu. A bunch of, basically a bunch of fiery, um, a bunch of fiery kunai are stuck inside of the Nomu. As, um, you know how strong Deku would have had to throw them, and this is without one for all yet. As Deku has not yet used it. As Deku would then say, now, <clears throat> Be gone with the thunderclap. I'm just kidding. I don't want him to do that yet. As Deku would then say now. Take this. Earth style. We oh, know. He didn't leave secret Taijutsu rules. A thousand years of death. As he <laughs> I know I really didn't want to do this. But Deku then sit. Then pokes the Nomu up his butt. And sends the Nomu flying into the um, air. Before the Nomu can then do anything, Deku then um, begins to jump. As he begins to kick the Nomu up higher. Before then appearing above the Nomu. As he then kicks the Nomu down. As he says, Lion's Barrage. He's sending the Nomu down into the ground. As Deku lands, he sees the Nomu getting up. As Deku then look and then decides... I want how does he keep surviving this? As Deku then looks at the Nomu, as his eyes begin to morph into that of the Sharingan. As Deku then um, looks into the Nomu's mind to see all of its quirks and uh, shock absorption, super strength, re, uh, very high regenerative quirk, and along with, uh, I believe it's shock notification actually. And I think that was it. As Deku would then say, hmm. No way I can do that. It's if I use my other eye. And as Zawa hears Deku, as Deku landed right beside him, Deku would then say, hmm. Hey, Sensei. He says, yes. As he says, what, Midoriya? He says, he has shock nullification, super strength, and a very high regenerative quirk. He can regenerate any of his limbs as long as he's, there's still a piece of him. As Aizawa then says, hmm, how are we going to take him down? As Deku says, without his, even if you were to erase his quirk sensei, he would still be too strong for you to take on. But I can force him to not, I can force him into submission, putting him to sleep. As Aizawa says, how? As Deku then moves his eye, as Aizawa then sees a purple eye with rings in him. 
as he then sees that it has three Tomo in him, just Tomo, Tomo, two Tomo, two, three, two, three commas in his eyes. Dang, I'm so, so I just pronounced that word and I don't know why, but three commas in his eye. As that as as other than as, what is that? This is Deku says this is another part of his quirk that unlocks a much deeper power within him. As Deku will then put the noble under very powerful, um, very powerful illusion, as it would have took his shining gun, his running on actually. I'm going to have Deku have the Mangekyo. He awakened it when he learned that his mother had died, but he won't be able to activate it because he doesn't yet know that he had the Mangekyo. He does feel like a piece of him that he has more in the Sharing Gun, but he he doesn't know what it is, so he won't explore it. I believe I'm only going to be able to get into the USJ because I want to make this video less than 30 minutes, unlike the others. I don't want to make a three hour, maybe five or four hour video, whatever, movie eventually, so yeah. Or I might just do like Gar and not make, put it into a movie, just do a full series. I might do make a movie later. Anyways, moving on. Deku will then tell the no movie go to sleep and his eye then begins to glow purple as his eye sees this as one of the tom um, the commas in his eyes begins to fade as it then becomes two but it, as I would then but as I was saw briefly before then while the eye was glowing it the three commas in his eyes were spinning as the number would then fall to the ground out cold and won't wake up for days as Kurogiri sees this and says, damn it, I'll have to get him out of here. As Kurogiri then begins to warp, um, warp, opens up a warp gate below the, um, below Shikaraki. As he's about to do one below Deku, or below, um, the Nomu. But Deku would kick the Nomu out of his way. As Kurogiri then says, we'll have to cut our losses here with the Nomu. As Kurogiri warps himself away. As Deku, um, as Azawa makes his way to um, 13 and begins to help her out, as Azawa says, go help the rest of his teammates, his classmates. As this is when Deku would then see the rest of his classmates are actually there. None of them are really injured, it's all of them are taking care of the villains. As Azawa would then say, never mind, never mind. As, um, this is then when they will all begin to get their signal back and everything, as Azawa would then, um, they then use a walkie talkie to talk to Nezu and to have him send down um, Recovery Girl and All Might and the rest of the heroes to come wrap up the villains. As Nezu would um, ask what happened, as, as I would then say, he'll give him the explanation once he gets here. As once the other heroes get here, as I will then begin to explain that these villains had attacked and him and Midoriya had fought off the leader of what he assumed to be the leader of this little attack and that they were here to kill All Might. He says if Izuku hadn't put the leader, um, had it knocked the leader out and then wouldn't have also had, um, in, if he wouldn't have put the thing that was here to kill All Might under an illusion, and they might have lost, lost a lot more. As Nezu would be, um, would not, if she says, well then, thank you, young Midoriya. Thank you, that's alright. And everyone then begins to leave as they get a couple days go like a week off from school and this is where I'm going to be ending on part three of what if Deku was Sasuke's reincarnation. I hope you guys enjoyed the what if I did. Join the Discord link in the description. Follow look at all the links in my description. Go check them out. See you guys later. Um see you guys later. Drukage out.